Meredith, your boobs are out. You know, Oscar's allowed to wear sandals, but I'm not allowed to wear open to its shoes. Is that how it goes? Meredith, your boob is out. How would I describe Oscar? Well, he's, um, he kind of tries to keep to himself. He just wants to do his job and go home. He likes his job. He's appreciative of it, but he's not crazy about it. So it, I think it's like a lot of people. He has friends at work and he tries to have boundaries, but that doesn't work because when you've been in a place too long, it's bound, you're bound to make friendships and it, it all bleeds together. Your life and work start when you're there long enough. And <laughs> these people are there long enough at this job where they're a little bit more than friends. Uh, they're a little bit more than just coworkers. A roast of Michael Scott. Oh, come on. I consider myself a good person, but I'm gonna try to make him cry. His funniest quality is, uh, I love, and he had this to a certain extent, but I love uh, characters that have delusions of grandeur. It's a very funny trait, and a lot of people have those traits, and so it's very funny to play that, yeah. My favorite part was when they made him gay, and then... <laughs> you and I are going to make a statement together. Oscar is my friend. I'd rather not. And I just don't care who sees it. I doesn't bother me. Really, would, would, I'd really rather not. Come here, I'd friend. Really rather not. You're my friend. Oh, no, no! I remember it being improvised. He wasn't supposed to kiss me, but that made the scene. The scene was flat. It wasn't really happening. It was just a regular scene, and, and Carell uh, kicked it to, uh, made it an office scene by making it inappropriate and totally uncomfortable. And... It was great because we did it in one take. No one knew it was happening. Only Steve knew. And it was great, yeah. What are my other favorite episodes? Oh, gosh, so many. Of The one with the cats, of course, with the fire drill one was very funny. Exit points. Exit Oscar. points, people. What's next? Oscar. Huh? Stay alive. I'm getting help. Pull me up. You're too heavy. I only weigh 82 pounds. Ah. Save Bandit. The one, there was one, I don't know what it was, but <clears throat> I think it was Ed, myself, and Steve Carell in a in a limousine and driving around for long periods of time. And we had a lot of fun in the limo driving around. And uh, Dwight's bachelor party was fun. Again, a limo, limousine, and we were all in the, in the limo driving around having fun. Oh, man. I never thought I'd say this, but I think I ate too much bone marrow. What are my favorite lines? Um, saddle shoes and denim. I will literally call Child Protective Services. Saddle shoes with denim. <laughs> I will literally call Child Protective Services. Bring a dictionary. The hospital will provide a thesaurus. Okay, great. Oh, hey, hey. Um, should I bring a dictionary to the hospital? The hospital will provide dictionaries. Bring okay. a thesaurus. Some of us are doing conventions now because it's number one on Netflix. And so Kate started doing them and... She's like, come on and try, go to a, I'm like, I don't want to do that. She's like, come on, try one if you don't like it. And I think I've done like five. And people are insane about the show and we love you for it. They're crazy about the show. They love Meredith, your boob is out. They love it. They just love it. They love that quote. And uh, they like other ones, but they just love that. They love that quote. Yeah. For me, for my character. It just, it holds up because it's just so well written. And then the cast was really good. Because one or the other, if the cast sucked, it, but it was well-written, or if it was, the cast was great and, and the, it wasn't well-written, we can't do anything with if we don't have material. So it was really well-written. The concept was great from Ricky Gervais and Steve Merchant. It's simple, like Taxi or Cheers. You don't have to, it's, it's character-driven. It's not, oh, there's a scientist and he goes back in time and there's children who, be, who are switching bodies and it's just a workplace. And then it's all based on the characters, on people's, foibles and and people's piccadillos and and delusions of grandeur and all stuff like that